Hello my spooky crew and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if this is your first time here. My name is Alex and thanks for coming to my spooky corner of the internet. I'm going to be taking a break from the regularly scheduled programming and content to talk about something fairly serious and that is this growing trend of spirit box communications with deceased celebrities and murder victims. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, please know that this isn't my normal content. I usually don't like to do call out videos or anything like that, but this is something I'm particularly passionate about because I have been on the other side of being someone who has grieved the loss of a loved one. This isn't the normal trend. I just wanted to put that out there right now. On that note, before we get started, be sure to click on that subscribe button, give this video a like, comment on this video. It'd be great if we can get as much visibility on it as possible because this is an important message that is shared by the paranormal and psychic mediumship community. And if you do enjoy the, my content here, then be sure to head on over to my website, thespookystuff.com. I got more blogs and stories about paranormal investigating, ghost hunting tips, and paranormal ethics. That's basically it, because I wanted to put that out there before I started my rant. So where where did this trend of contacting celebrities via spirit box, where did it come from and why is it exploding all of a sudden? Well, this trend isn't necessarily new. It's been going on for years, for quite some time. Now, to note, I'm not going to be naming any specific creators that create this kind of content, mainly because I don't want to give them attention or views. Now, if you're able to figure out who these creators are based on what I'm saying, you know, that's on you. Take that information and do what you want to do with it. But for this video, I am not going to be naming them because I don't want to give them that kind of attention. This is a trend that we saw really grow into popularity after the death of Robin Williams, Kobe Bryant, B.B. King. Any mainstream celebrity that has passed in the last 10 years, we see very quickly after some sort of ITC communication or spirit box session trying to make contact with some of these dead celebrities. Same thing with missing persons cases and murder victims. I'm going to say it right now, do not believe them. Do not believe these creators because 99.99999% of the time it's fake. It's staged. It's all BS. There are a couple of things that you should look out for to see if this kind of video is fake. One of them is going to be the staging. There will always be something happening in a completely pitch black room with only the spirit box or the device as light. It'll be sparkly. It'll be dramatic. It'll have mood lighting. You'll usually see like some sort of old uh, radio or speaker box, but you won't actually see like what is going on behind the scenes or how the device is working. You may get a glimpse of like maybe some sound files, you know, happening maybe in the background, but usually it's not, you're not going to see that because these videos are staged in a very specific way. So you're only looking at one certain thing while ignoring the man behind the curtain that's out of frame. Truly, this is a situation of a man behind the curtain configuring all of these effects that you are seeing and listening to. The big thing that's happening to is audio editing with deceased celebrities and murder victims, especially ones that have had a lot of media exposure. There are already existing sound files out there of their voices. There are videos of their voices that these creators can pull from to create their content. Audio programming and audio editing is a thing that exists. They can take those sound files and edit them. They can reverse them. They can add echoes. They can add distortion to make it sound spooky. If they were able to make contact with a spirit who absolutely had none of that media exposure, and then we could cross reference those audio samples and match them to their voices, knowing that there was no way that these creators could have gotten any sort of file of the sound of their voice, that might be one thing. But in this case, because because of the the mass media exposure that celebrities get and also the media exposure that missing persons cases gets as well as you know murder victims yeah it's 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 not hard to replicate that at all creators like these are honestly snake oil salesmen they are creating a very specific vibe they're using theatrics and dramatics to create something and literally they can write a script they can write a script and they can cue the audio to go 
off in a certain pattern or a certain way so that they can respond to it and get appropriate responses back. There's a lot going on with this. I mean, I can even show you right now. You're just seeing my face. You're seeing my chair. You're seeing Madison. But if you look around, I mean, there's things going on. And also, whoop, and I have my computer right there. So I'm, I'm literally sitting here, you know, with a lot of stuff happening in the background that you can't see. I'm trying to put everything back but you know you can see there's a lot happening and with setups like these in particular it's definitely not out of the question that these creators have the same thing going on so this is why majority of these videos are fake i don't want to say every one of them because i haven't watched every one of them but for the most part any of these videos that are exploiting you know celebrities missing persons or you know murder victims uh yeah 100 of the time i'm i'm pretty confident in saying that they're fake and especially in the case of gabby petito who did create content who had photos of her all over the internet and you we've all heard her voice in these in her videos so Who's to say that you just don't, you take that sample, you know, distort it, add some echo, reverse it, reverb, or, you know, audio editing software can match pitch. They can match pitch and they can match tone. It's not hard to do these things. This is why when you watch these kinds of videos, you need to really be critical about them. You have to wonder, okay, well, what is it that's happening that could be debunking this? You know, could there be audio software playing off camera that is playing these sounds. Now let's talk about the other side of this coin, why these type of videos are problematic. You may be thinking, what's the harm of doing these type of videos? They could be helping police. They could be really trying to make a connection with that spirit. No, if they were really trying to be genuine and trying to be helpful, they wouldn't be posting these videos publicly, especially in the case of Gabby Petito's family, who has specifically requested for these types of videos and this type of content to not be made. These creators are still doing it. You have psychic mediums who are exploiting Gabby Petito. You have paranormal investigators who are exploiting Gabby Petito with these videos of these spirit box sessions that are completely exploiting her and they are highly unethical. And this is why. Psychic mediums who work genuinely and with ethics and integrity, they will not do a reading without consent. Paranormal investigators will not investigate a location or a person without consent. This is the key thing here, consent and boundaries. I can guarantee you that the creators who are producing these spirit box sessions on video, they do not have the consent of the deceased family. They did not even share that content with the deceased family. So it's, it's highly problematic that they continue to make this content. And here's another thing. Do you know how highly traumatic it can be to these grieving families to see these types of videos made about their lost loved ones. Like, my gosh, let these families grieve. Let the ink dry on the death certificate for crying out loud. It's so wrong. These creators don't care about the level of trauma that they are inflicting on the grieving families and friends who are left behind and trying to process the tragedy that happened. Even if they were making genuine connections with these spirits, Spirits, to be putting it out there for millions of views to come through without involving the family is wrong. But let's be honest, majority of the creators who produce this kind of content, they don't care about boundaries. They don't care about consent. So if they're not involving the families, they're not trying to help the families or help the authorities in solving the case, why are they doing this? Simply put, they're creating this content, they're posting it out there for their audience, and then they do nothing with it ever again. It doesn't go to the police. They don't reach out to the families asking for permission of anything like that. And they, they, they do it for the views. It's exploitation and it's a way to gain clout and recognition. They are the equivalent of paranormal ambulance chasers. Or as uh, as my friend Spooktastics, um, Kat over at Spooktastics said, you know, they're trauma predators. They are preying on our trauma too because when these stories hit, they affect us as well. And so they are exploiting our feelings, our feelings of vulnerability and our trauma as we try to understand why terrible things happen. They are preying on us as well. Another term that I really agree with uh, is that they're grief vampires. They are feeding off of our grief and the grief of 
you know, the deceased friends and family. It's, it's, it's gross, y'all. It's gross. It's not ethical. And stop requesting this type of content. When I do look at these comments of these videos, they're asking, oh, can you contact JonBenet Ramsey? Can you contact Kaylee Anthony? Like, no, guys, they are turning the deceased into products, like their items to be ordered off of a menu. These are human beings. They are not products. Let's not take their humanity away by requesting this type of content. They are doing it for attention. They are doing it for likes. They're doing it for views. They're doing it to gain new followers. And if their platform is monetized, they are going to be making a considerable amount of money. The algorithm will favor this type of content because it gets a reaction out of people. When as soon as someone sees Gabby Petito's spirit or Gabby Petito's ghost uh, in the title of some sort of spirit box video, they're going to watch it. If they see a celebrity's name attached to a spirit box session, they're going to watch it. The algorithm all over social media highly favors this. And these creators know that. And that's why they continue to make this kind of content. Really, they, they, they're pretty ruthless with it and they don't have any shame when they do it. You know, it's interesting too, you know, these psychic mediums and paranormal investigators that are doing these spirit box sessions and trying to contact Gabby Petito's spirit and trying to be helpful, you know, this, this high profile case. Why don't they use those skills and abilities to try to help find the 5,000 indigenous people who are still missing to this day? <sighs> They won't because those aren't high profile cases and there isn't data or information for them to pull so that they can pretend it's coming out of nowhere when they do that spirit box session. So you might be wondering, what can I do? What can I do to help stop this? And honestly, the biggest thing you can do is speak out about it. S try to speak out about it without naming names because again, we wanna try to avoid bringing attention to these creators. However, the paranormal community and the psychic mediumship community needs to take a stand. I'm actually really thrilled that Brandon Alvis of Ghost Hunters, he retweeted my tweet about this. And I was really excited that he did that because you don't really see like the TV personalities get on board with this. But honestly, we have to start making a louder stand against this type of content and let the public know that this is not us. This is not what the paranormal community is about. This is not what the psychic mediumship community is about. Absolutely not. Like, this is not us. We have ethics. We have integrity. We want to genuinely help when we're asked. And I do know psychic mediums who work with the authorities on missing persons and murder cases. However, the authorities will go to that person. If you are giving them unsolicited footage of a spirit box session and crowding their phone lines and email boxes, they're not going to listen That's it could, because that's not how this works. This isn't something that you see on TV. And the other thing to help stop this is just don't watch the content. Don't watch it. Don't comment on it. Don't give it a like. I know it's so tempting to comment on these videos and say, hey, this is wrong. But again, that favors the algorithm on social media. That will let TikTok, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, that will let them know that, oh, people are engaging with this content, so they'll show it to more people. We also have to educate the public. This was something that I normally didn't speak out often about. I did it once and a large creator who kind of started the trend of this vid of these types of videos came at me and told me that I had a skewed view of death. And I did blog about that, but the backlash I got just wasn't worth it. But now that I'm seeing this trend grow even more now, especially on TikTok, I, I, I can't just sit here and stay silent without speaking, speaking up and, and talking about how this hurts people. At the end of the day, not only am I an advocate for the deceased, but I'm also an advocate for the living. I'm an advocate for the grieving families that are going to be traumatized and so hurt by this type of content. Again, these creators don't care, but I think the amount of people who care about these families, I think it outweighs the number of people who don't care. And that's why I say we need to be speaking up. And especially since these videos are fake. They're literally like taking 
these deceased celebrities, murder victims, missing per persons cases, they're using them like Weekend at Bernie style as props to gain and grow their following and to get like a, a minor paycheck. If they really wanted to make right with this, they would donate that money that they've earned from all of those views and donate them to a charity. And if you do want to engage with that kind of content, ask them what they're using. Ask them what software they're using to create these kind of videos. What audio editing program are they using? Because I guarantee you, it's all fake. It's all staged. It's all manufactured. You're not watching an on the spot, out of the blue, uh, flying by the seat of your pants spirit box session. You are watching something that is carefully planned all for the exploitation of a life lost that's all i really had to say today i mean i've said my piece about it i'll get back to the ghost stories and paranormal investigations next week if you did enjoy this video or it resonated with you you agree with me disagree with me let me know in the comments also share this video so that we can push the message out there even further and before you go don't forget to subscribe to my channel give this video a like you know shoot me a message as well if you like you know content like ghost stories ghost hunting and all that good stuff i do have a patreon as well that gives off you know some other exclusive content you can follow me on facebook instagram tiktok as well i've spoken out about about this especially on instagram and tiktok and facebook i'd love to chat with you some more if you want to discuss more that's really it y'all i mean send healing thoughts to the people who are suffering right now it is a hard time right now not just for the family of gabby petito but also for the family of lauren cho who is also another missing person please you know if you have resources give those resources that's all thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next round.